I wouldn't say that Ninja Theory has elevated the strengths or weaknesses of Devil May Cry, but their take on the series is a sterling example of how to handle a franchise reboot. The first Devil May Cry was originally meant to be a Resident Evil game before it developed into the franchise we know today, and at the time, action games had very limited success in 3D. But that first Devil May Cry hit all the right notes. As an action game, it was hard enough to be catalogued alongside the original Ninja Gaiden, and its gothic visual style was cool enough to be a Castlevania. The caliber and success of the title led to an explosion of 3D action games, including Sony's flagship God of War. The plot of the first game was silly. Its only real purpose was to illustrate just how cool this white-haired, red-leather-clad anti-hero could be. And that's mostly true with Ninja Theory's reimagining of the franchise, except that now DMC's unmistakably prepubescent version of Cool feels deliberately cockamamie. DMC screams of a team that had tons of fun putting together the most over-the-top comic book characters that they could, looking to turn Dante into someone who could hang out with Angel, Spawn, or any other number of comic book badasses. And they really commit to this comic book tone. It's felt throughout every aspect of the game, which is the best thing that you could say about it, and kind of the worst. The whole game is totally in your face, with blatant symbolic imagery and a constantly raging soundtrack that switches between dubstep and something Wikipedia describes as agrotech. It's commendable, really, how serious the team is about having this unified theme, but I couldn't help but have an aversion to some stuff on principle alone. There are a handful of spots that feel straight out of the Zack Snyder playbook, which could be a deal breaker for a lot of people. And yet despite the onslaught of 14 year old impressions of cool, the art direction and level design are so constantly interesting, it's hard not to be won over by the way that inanimate objects react to Dante, or how levels are constantly imploding on themselves. And of course, like Heavenly Sword and Enslaved before it, the performances and mocap are fantastic. If you played either of Ninja Theory's other action games, you'll know that the team knows exactly what they're doing when it comes to making combat look fantastic, but struggle to bring any sort of real depth to the mechanics. But despite being on the easy side of things, the combat in DMC is a lot of fun. It couples the series' emphasis on juggling with the visual bells and whistles of Heavenly Sword. DMC Devil May Cry won't act as a proof of concept for the genre, but it takes the fundamentals of the original Devil May Cry and it makes them feel fresh again. 